New York City just handed Waymo the first of its kind permit to test self-driving cars on the streets and the testing begins immediately. We know the company Waymo, most of us at this point's autonomous driving vehicle company, and now the company can deploy up to eight of its Jaguar I-Pace SUVs in Manhattan, yeah, Manhattan of all places, and downtown Brooklyn through September. Rest assured, it's not a fully driverless free-for-all. In fact, the cars must have a, quote, train safety operator in the driver's seat with at least one hand on the wheel at all times. So, so it's not really, it's not self-driverless at all, but they are piloting it. They're also banned from picking up passengers without a taxi and limousine commission license. That's gonna be important. This is not just a tech milestone, but it's kind of a huge experiment in whether or not autonomous vehicles can handle one of the most chaotic and very human-centered environments on Earth, very dense and walkable city that is New York. New York is just built different. Waymo currently operates in Phoenix, in my city of Los Angeles, and in Austin, but New York is just different. It has dense traffic. LA has dense traffic, but not dense traffic. It has really unpredictable weather, and pedestrians are literally everywhere. Waymo applied back in June and actually had to consult with lawmakers um, and local organizations like Mothers Against Drunk Driving to make this happen. They coordinated with first responders, submitted detailed safety plans, the whole lot. It is all part of Eric Adams' new autonomous vehicle safety program. And, and you know Eric Adams, um, not, not the best idea haver. If, big if, Waymo can actually pull this off, it might be one step closer to this robo-taxi rollout that they're really hoping to see all over the place. It's a big if, because this is also Silicon Valley testing risky tech, right, on public streets. These are the same cars that gather data, and it's not just data on the streets, but it's who's on the streets, the people on the streets. And a lot's happening on the streets, so is this is this just a, a future of safety, you know what I mean, for transportation? Or is it maybe another experiment on New Yorkers? This is an interesting development, and I will definitely be keeping my eyes on it as I do with these kinds of stories. And until next time, I'm V, and I'll see you in the ether.